The ICC prosecutor moved to the court's appeal chamber on Tuesday to question two decisions by the pretrial chamber that he feels could water down his twin cases on the 2007-2008 post-election violence matter. Ocampo appealed against a decision by the pretrial chamber to reject his classification of forcible circumcision as acts of sexual violence. Ocampo, in his evidence, had pointed to cases of forced circumcision against members of the Luo community by elements believed to belong to the Mungiki group in Kisumu and Kibera and other regions that witnessed the chaos. He had asked the court to charge head of civil service Ambassador Francis Mudaura and former police commissioner Hussein Ali as co-perpetrators of the said forcible circumcision crimes. But the pretrial chamber declined to classify forcible circumcision as a sexual offense and instead concluded that such crimes only qualified as other inhumane acts. This, Ocampo argues, would weaken his case against Muthaura and Ali. The prosecutor also appealed against a decision by the pretrial chamber judges that there was no evidence of an organizational policy with respect to the Kenya police force in the execution of crimes that were alleged to have been committed in Nakuru and Naivasha. Though the pretrial chamber recognized that police used excessive force in Kisumu and Kibera, it failed to consider an application by Ocampo that the police force was part of a state force targeted at a particular group. This, Ocampo says, was likely to substantially weaken his case against former police commissioner Hussein Ali and head of civil service ambassador Francis Mudaura, who chaired the National Security Advisory Board at the height of the chaos. Ocampo says that if the court does not overturn this decision, in future, state officers would use their offices to sanction crimes either by commission or omission and still escape punishment. The appeals chamber is expected to give direction on the matter before April the 7th. In the meantime, Justice Hans Peter Cowell, the judge who issued a dissenting ruling on the Kenyan post election violence cases, maintains that the cases did not meet the ICC threshold. In his ruling published Tuesday evening, the judge acknowledges that serious crimes had been committed during the post-election violence period, but is of the opinion that the crimes could be effectively handled through local criminal justice systems. While insisting that the ICC lacked jurisdiction on the post-election violence cases, the judge said that there was sufficient evidence to institute local judicial proceedings against all the six named suspects for either financing, inciting, or perpetrating the chaos. Defense lawyers of the six post-election violence suspects can hope to ride on the arguments made by a dissenting judge to build their case against Ocampo's evidence. But since the majority ruling carried the day, the six suspects will still have to await their day in court next month where the charges will be formally read out to them. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.